Today we're going to chat about how to prepare for a street dance battle and take your skills to the next level. Street dance battles are one of the most exhilarating events in the dance world, and with the right mindset and training, you can crush the competition. First things first, let's talk about training. You want to create a training plan that focuses on both technique and fitness. The more you train, the better you'll be able to perform during the battle. Focus on improving your endurance, strength, and flexibility. Additionally, practice your signature moves and work on perfecting your technique. Don't forget to also train your freestyle skills, because these are essential in a street dance battle. In the context of physical training for dance, Concepts from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear can be particularly helpful in developing a consistent and effective training routine. One of the most powerful motivators for developing habits is to identify with the person you want to become. In other words, if you want to become a better dancer, start by identifying as a dancer. This means not just practicing dance, but also adopting the habits and mindset of a dancer. For example, you might start dressing like a dancer surrounding yourself with other dancers, and reading about dance, this will help reinforce your identity as a dancer and make it easier to stick to your training routine. Another useful concept from Atomic Habits is habit stacking. This involves linking a new habit to an existing habit, so that the existing habit serves as a trigger for the new habit. For example, if you already have a habit of practicing dance for 30 minutes every morning, you might add a new habit of stretching for 10 minutes after your dance practice. By stacking the new habit on top of the existing habit, you make it easier to remember and easier to stick to. The Valley of Disappointment refers to the period of time when you're developing a new habit and you're not yet seeing results. This is the period when many people give up because they feel like their efforts aren't paying off. However, according to Clear, this is actually the most important time to keep going because it's when you're building the foundation for long-term success, to get through the valley of disappointment, it's important to focus on the process of building the habit, rather than the immediate results. In the case of physical training for dance, this might mean focusing on the joy of dancing and the satisfaction of knowing that you're putting in the work, rather than obsessing over your progress. Finally, be consistent and just show up. Small habits done consistently over time can lead to big results, this means that it's more important to focus on developing a consistent training routine, even if it's just a few minutes a day, than it is to try to cram in a lot of training all at once. By being consistent, you'll be able to build momentum and make progress over time. As Gary Mack and David Castevens write in The Mind Gym, champions aren't made in the gyms, champions are made from something they have deep inside them a desire, a dream, a vision. You gotta have the fire in your belly and turn that into action. This means following a disciplined training routine that includes strength and conditioning work, technical drills, freestyle practice, and mock battles. Now, let's get into how to mentally prepare for a street dance battle. Mental preparation is just as important as physical preparation. Visualize your success and stay confident, as one of the books we talked about said. Believing in yourself is half the battle. Take the time to focus on your mental preparation by picturing yourself winning the battle. Also, make sure you have all your gear ready, such as comfortable clothing, shoes, and any accessories you need to perform your best. One of the key factors that separates winners from losers in dance battles is the mental game. As W. Timothy Galway writes in The Inner Game of Tennis, the opponent within one's own head is more formidable than the one on the other side of the net. To win battles you must first conquer your own self-doubt, fears, and distractions. This requires developing a strong inner game and mastering your thoughts, emotions, and focus, according to Tim S. Grover. The author of Relentless, the key to winning is to cultivate a relentless mindset that is focused on excellence, not just success. This means setting high standards for yourself, pushing yourself beyond your limits, and never settling for mediocrity to achieve this mindset. You must be willing to embrace discomfort, work harder than anyone else, and stay hungry for improvement. Lastly, let's discuss how to perform in a street dance battle. The key to success is to stay relaxed and confident while you dance. Don't forget to engage with the audience and use your personality to stand out from the crowd. It's not just about the moves, but also about your stage presence and energy. 
stay aware of your opponent's moves and be ready to counter them. As one of the books we discussed earlier said, winning is not just about beating your opponent, but also about bringing out the best in yourself. So, focus on your own performance while still being aware of your opponent's moves. Winning dance battles requires a strategic approach, as Sun Tzu writes in The Art of War, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. This means that you must be strategic in your approach to battles, studying your opponents, analyzing their weaknesses, and exploiting them to your advantage. To do this, you must have a deep understanding of the different styles, moves, and techniques in street dance, as well as a creative and adaptable approach to freestyle. As Josh Waitzkin writes in The Art of Learning, the key to pursuing excellence is to embrace an organic, long-term learning process, and not to live in a shell of static, safe mediocrity. This means that as a street dancer, you should strive to continually improve your skills and knowledge of the craft. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new things, explore different styles, experiment with new moves, and take risks in your performances. In addition to continuous learning, it's also important to surround yourself with a supportive community, find other dancers who share your passion for street dance and who are willing to provide constructive feedback and encouragement. Joining a dance crew or attending dance events and workshops can be a great way to connect with other dancers and gain valuable insights and inspiration. Another important aspect of preparing for a street dance battle is to understand the culture and history of street dance. Street dance originated in urban areas and has a rich cultural heritage that is deeply rooted in the communities where it was born. By learning about the history and cultural significance of street dance, you can gain a deeper appreciation for the art form and develop a greater sense of respect for the dancers who came before you. Finally, remember that street dance battles are meant to be fun and exciting. While winning is certainly a goal, it's not the only measure of success. Focus on enjoying the process of preparing for the battle and the thrill of performing in front of a live audience. Celebrate your successes and learn from your failures, and always strive to be the best dancer and person that you can be. Getting ready for a street dance battle requires a combination of physical and mental preparation, strategic thinking, continuous learning, and a supportive community by following a disciplined training routine, cultivating a strong inner game, and focusing on confident and engaging performances. You can set yourself up for success in this thrilling and adrenaline-fueled dance form, so, stay hungry, stay focused, and keep dancing.